so, y'all, I haven't done one of these in a while. I guess because maybe I'm kind of in my head right now. But I just want to say, man, if you're out there, you're watching this right now, and you're one of those folks like me that tend to get down on yourself, no matter how well you know you're doing, or no matter how many new doors you're opening, or the opportunities that are coming your way, you still kind of feel down. It's okay to feel that. This is not for everybody, you know. I mean, even if it wasn't the T-shirt stuff. Just being an entrepreneur alone is difficult. The amount of hours you have to put in, the amount of money that you have to invest in yourself, the people around you that may not believe in what you're doing, that may not see your vision, the friends and family that you end up losing along the way because they think that you're not paying attention to them or you don't have enough time for them. There's a lot of sacrifices that have to be made to, to have a, a business, to be a successful entrepreneur, and not everybody's cut out for it. It is not easy. It's probably the hardest thing I've ever had to do to wake up every single day trying to push myself to continue making content, to continue bringing orders in because that's what's paying my bills, to continue building this, this empire that I, that I believe it's going to be. Sure, it's super easy to show the final product after I've got done pressing it and putting the video together and whatnot. That's the easy part. But what people don't see is behind the scenes when you're struggling, when you're depressed, when you're you know, in your head, when you don't believe that it's good enough sometimes, when you feel like no matter what you're doing, you're just spinning your wheels, people don't see that part. Now with me, I'm always happy-go-lucky for the most part. What you see is what you get. This, is, this isn't anything fake when I'm off camera versus when I'm on camera. It's the same guy at all times, but I'm still in my head. It doesn't mean that I don't have my moments. But I want to just tell you guys that if you're feeling like this, this is impossible to do, it's not impossible. Just keep going. Some might think my message is corny and skip it by and be like, why well, I ain't trying to listen to this guy trying to be motivational, but for whoever it lands on, this is for you. Keep going. There's room for everybody to win. If you really want to do this, just keep going. The worst thing that you can do is quit. It's okay to be in them feelings where you feel like it's not happening. That's okay as long as you don't quit because you never know what you can wake up to the next day. These opportunities that I have gotten have all fallen on my lap because I keep working. I'm seeing that. And people have this, this thought that you have to have thousands and thousands and thousands of followers to have people take notice of you. And that's so untrue. I mean, if my page isn't proof, I don't know what to tell you, but I don't have thousands of thousands of followers like these big YouTube guys. I don't have that. What I do have and that these major YouTubers have that you guys follow as well, that some have become my friends, is work ethic, determination is being able to get on here day in and day out, no matter how tired you are, no matter what you have going on, and putting content out. You have to put content out. You have to get in front of this camera, and you have to speak about yourself, you have to speak about your product, and you have to be confident in what you're saying, what you're offering, and what you're doing. I'm also really big on speaking things into existence, and every time I've done that, it's always come true. I say it's favor, you know, but we all have favor from God, right? But with me is I act upon my favor. Even though I'm speaking it into existence, I'm still working my butt off to make that happen. There are some people that feel like I got lucky. Lucky to, to be in the position that I'm in with some of these people. I don't know what luck is. Because if I was lucky, I wouldn't be sitting here right now sacrificing family, friends, my time, even sometimes, you know, a meal or two. I don't know how that's lucky, but I call it hard work. On top of that, I also went to school for certain things because people say, man, it's so easy for you to you know, speak on camera and stuff like that. Probably so. I mean, this has been me my whole life. I've never, I've never been afraid of, of the camera, of a microphone or nothing like that. I did go to school. I have a degree. My degree is in theater arts and applied drama. I also have a certificate in radio broadcasting. And that's probably why I sound like a radio host when I'm talking to you some of these times. But neither here nor there. I went to school. I put myself through school for everything I've ever wanted to do. So yeah, it might be a little easier for me than it is for you. However, it doesn't mean that you can't do it. It doesn't mean that just because I went to school for something, you don't have it naturally. I did have it naturally. I just wanted to improve on that skill and you can too. So nothing is luck. Everything is hard work. If you want it, you have to go out and get it. I'm not gonna wake up tomorrow and, and become a millionaire because somebody's just gonna look at me and say, you know what, Rube? I wanna give you a million bucks just because you make me laugh, just because you sound the way you do. I just wanna give you a million bucks. That doesn't happen. But I could wake up tomorrow and fall into a million bucks because I worked my ass off to get there, right? Who knows? But the point is until that happens, and even if it never does, work. And for me, I work like my life depends on it, and it does. If I don't work hard, 
I will not open any doors. No opportunities will come my way and I won't feed my son. I won't clothe him. I won't pay my bills. I will not even be able to eat myself. So I got to work like there is no tomorrow. And maybe that's what sets me apart from a lot of people is that I go beyond pressing a shirt and putting a picture up. I've said this a million times. That's the easy part. That's also to me, the most boring part. I'm a visual guy. I like to see things moving. Sure, I'll come across a page where someone's just posting pictures of whatever, you know, apparel they've pressed and I'll be like, man, that's pretty dope. But when I see a video attached to that, I'm like, oh man, like they're really speaking up their product. That makes me want to support them even more. And it also forces me to step my game up to at all times. I'm not a boring dude. I mean, I'm super bright. I like bright colors. Things got to be big. I'm that guy that can walk into a room full of people I don't know and be like, man, what's up? I'm here. Like, what's going on? Like, where am I sitting? Who am I sitting with? What are we about to talk about? That's me. That's my personality, you know? And that's what comes out in my videos, in the apparel that I'm that I'm pressing, because that's who that's who I am. You know, I don't want to be boring. I, I, I want to give everything I do life. So I give my apparel life. Anything that I'm pressing, I'm trying to bring it to life. And when you bring it to life, that just attracts more people. So don't be boring, I guess. You know, get out of that, get out of that comfort zone. Get out of that shyness. Get out of that fear that, oh my God, I look stupid. Oh my God, I sound dumb. I know I look stupid and sound dumb the majority of the time, but I'm not trying to please anybody. I'm just trying to be myself, have fun, sell a few pieces along the way, meet some amazing people, make some friends along the way, but most importantly, just feed my soul. I love what I do. I love pressing garments. It gets me out of my head. Um, when I see a when I see a blank shirt, when I see a blank hat, some blank socks, it's just like it's an empty canvas, and I'm just like, I just want to paint. I just want to decorate. I just want to craft. That just gives me a whole sense of peace. So that's what I get out of it the most. Is just I just want to feed my soul. And and uh, if people along the way see that and want to connect with me then, hey, I'm hoping that I can pass that down to somebody else too. Let them know that there is opportunity to not be afraid, not be afraid to reach out to these people that you watch. You know, uh, maybe one day they might hit you back. But at the same time, don't go begging anybody. I don't beg anybody for anything. Look, if they reach out, I'm just like, man, what's up? You know, like, let's network. This is what I do. I love what you do. And another thing too that uh, I wanted to address is one dude, was one dude was in my inbox i i've since had to delete him block him you know and that's just 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 for me there was no ill will there was no beef or anything like that i just felt like maybe this person shouldn't be on my page but uh it was from a recent uh connection that i made uh with a very very popular um young lady a business and the person wrote me and said that uh man dude like you're hella thirsty i see you everywhere you know, and then he was like, ha, 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 I'm just kidding, man. You know, good work. But I felt like, you know what? No, I think you really mean that. Nothing about me is thirsty at all. I just feel like if I'm learning something from somebody's page, I'm going to shout them out. Why not? I'm going to shout out whatever apparel I got from somebody. If I watched a video that was motivational to me, if there's some information in there that I think somebody else can use, I'm going to shout that person out. And it's never with the, uh, it's never with the thought of like, oh, if I just tag their name in here, they're going to hit me back and we're going to work. No. It's up to them to come back to my page and say, you know what, I like what you're doing. And that's that's what's happened almost every single time because good energy attracts good energy and people want to be surrounded by that. So don't be ashamed if people around you don't agree with the way that you're moving. I know that I'm moving pretty fast. I know that I've moved pretty fast. But at the same time, this isn't my first rodeo. I've been here for a long time, maybe not in a t-shirt world, but I've been in the merchandise world. I've been in the entertainment world. I've been here for a long time. I, I've worked my ass off to get here. And I say this all the time, so I sound like a broken record, but I'm not gonna feel bad for anybody that's watching me saying like, man, how did he do it? Why, 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 why can he do it and I can't? You know, I've been trying to get their attention forever and they don't pay attention to me. I'm not gonna feel sorry about that. That's up to you. You gotta figure out what it is that you're, that you're you know, lacking or what area you're lacking in, what you can improve in. I still do that. I'm no better than anybody else. I'm just working my ass off. That's really all that it is. I don't want to get too off topic here. I wanted to just hopefully motivate a few more folks, especially those that are just, you know, finding me or 
adding me, following what I'm doing, is I want to motivate you all as well. Uh, just know that there's room for all of us. All of us can win. This isn't um, this isn't on lock by anybody at all whatsoever. No one has this on lock to where you got to get their approval to uh, build your your business, your brand, uh, whatever it is you're doing with the t-shirt world. You don't have to seek anybody's approval. Just work. Just work. It's a wide open. It's a wide open market. You know, um, all of us, all of us are allowed to be here. It doesn't matter what tool you're using, uh, whether you screen print, whether you you know use vinyl, whether you're using a cameo, whether you're doing DTG, whether you're using an eye color, it doesn't matter what form you're using to make some apparel. And whoever has an issue with any of the tools that you're using to build your brand, then so be it. But continue to build, continue to build. Don't be ashamed, show the tools you have. I don't have the fanciest, most expensive things. I got some money in here. I'm able to do some stuff that a lot of people um, can't, but there's tons of people that are able to do things that I can't. It doesn't matter, you know, I'm gonna use every single tool in here to build what I, what I know in my heart is possible. So my favorite two tools that I have Probably my favorite three would be my eye color. It's my number one. Uh, my cameo. I got a cameo four. My number two, and I have, you know, I would say these kind of go together. But I got the sawgrass. You know, this the sawgrass next to my left. Then I got my eco tank to my right. But those four things are my favorite. That's all I need. I have been successful as hell with just those tools right there. And it's probably all the ones that you need in order to be successful. Um, but anyhow, I appreciate you. I appreciate you for being a part of my journey, for taking whatever I'm doing, if it's inspiring you and you're able to grow from that, learn something new. I'm still learning too, so I learn something from all of you every single day. And I'm just happy. I'm happy just to be alive. I'm happy to learn something new. I'm happy to connect with new people every single day. And I'm just happy to be a part of a community full of entrepreneurs who are just like me, who are saying there's no way I'm going back to a nine to five in a cubicle stuck where someone else can dictate my life. Not for me. And I'm happy to be a part of a bunch of people that feel that same way. So keep rocking, keep going. Keep pressing up every single piece of apparel you can put your hands on. Keep having fun. Keep believing. Keep having faith. Keep building your brand.